fighting, okay? So let's get, let's get down on the ground first and get into that position, okay? They're gonna hit a figure four position, which means they're gonna take one of their legs, we don't know which one yet, and they're gonna put it behind their knee or under their knee. They're gonna put it under their knee, under their knee, under their knee. Under their knee, good, okay? I don't want to teach them to put it up higher because of the tailbone injury. If that foot gets sliding up all the way up under here, we get the tailbone injury. So I'm gonna teach them to put it behind or under their knee, okay? I'm gonna teach them to lift their foot off of the ground, okay? So their heel is off the ground. I'm gonna teach them to pull their toe back towards their face, okay? I'm gonna teach them to put their hands up in the air and chin to their chest. Chin to the chest, I'm teaching that because I don't want their heads to snap back when they slide. So chin to the chest. And right here, ladies, I want you all to chin to your chest. I want you all just lay down. Oh, yep, fix your hair. <laughs> okay, so their hands are up in the air. We're teaching hands up in the air so that they don't put their hands down to slide where we get broken wrists. Okay, back up. Put both feet out in front, okay? Use your other leg to tuck under your knee. Does that feel right? No, it doesn't feel right. So they're gonna have one leg that feels right. We don't know which leg that is yet, okay? So I'm gonna have them try it with their other leg right now, okay? Heel off the ground, toe to your face, pull your toe backwards, hands up, chin to your chest, lay down, good. That's the slide position. That's how we want to slide, okay? Go ahead and sit up again. Switch your legs. Heel under their knee. Or, yeah, ankle under their knee, heel under their knee. Heel up, off the ground. Toe to the face. Pull your toe backwards. Hands up, chin to the chest, and lay down. Okay, so I gave some basic information. Now, are they going to be able to do this? No. Mm -mm. Okay, sit up. All right, stand up. The older they get, the older they get, the more afraid of sliding they get. Okay? So you need to start early on letting them slide and dive. Okay? Start early on sliding and diving. So some leagues I've come across have a rule that they can't slide and dive in 8U. Like, that's ridiculous. That's where they should be doing these things. They should be learning them because the taller they get, the more difficult it is to slide. So if you have, um, the smaller ones are, it's easier for them because they're lower to the ground. It's not as scary. If you have a super tall kid in your age group, she's going to be the most afraid because that's a long ways down there. So knowing that, we have to let them know the lower we get when approaching the base, the less it's going to hurt. Don't lie to them, it's gonna hurt, okay? Until they get good at it. The other thing that they need is speed. They need speed. They need to be running as fast as they can on their last step into the slide. So make sure you're encouraging them to go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. When they slow down, that's when the injuries happen. The toe to the, uh, pull your toe to your nose. This position, heel up and toe to the nose, is important so that they don't run into the base and try to slide like this. Put your foot down. Especially these ladies, because they're all wearing spikes. Okay, if they try to slide into the base with their cleats down, they're gonna get stuck. So tell them to kick and bring that toe to the nose. Heel up, toes to the nose, okay? So give me a kick with your straight leg. Good. So that position, that has to happen the last thing. Okay, kick. Okay, now to get them to feel this motion, we're gonna do a couple of silly drills, okay? All right, um, you guys remember these drills? Did we do these? Last year, maybe we did. Oh no, at the, oh, it was the 18s. Yeah, the 18s. Okay, so we're gonna do this. You're gonna do uh, two steps. You're gonna go one, two, kick, okay? One, two, kick. It's good, arms up when you do it. Okay, don't kick so high. One, two, kick. So you're bringing that toe up, pull your toe up and heel off the ground, kick. One, two, kick. Okay, tuck your chin to your chest when you're doing it. 
This might be the closest to sliding any of them get. Okay, but at least you're teaching them some sort of feeling, some sort of movement, okay? So that's one of the drills to do. Just take two steps and kick, arms up in the air, chin to the chest. Okay? All right, stop. Now we're going to do, who's done the sliding drill? Anyone? Done the, okay, Cam, can you, can you demonstrate? Okay, this is the next one. She's going